I'm London Swan. Former Indiana University employee Mark Zacharias pled guilty in court today to acts of anti-Semitic vandalism on the IU campus. As WTIU's Julie Robb reports, Zacharias was sentenced to 40 hours of community service and probation. Zacharias was convicted of a criminal mischief misdemeanor charge for breaking a glass information board in Goodbody Hall, the building that houses IU's Jewish Studies program. Zacharias had previously been charged with two Class D felonies, but those charges were dropped as part of a plea agreement. A judge sentenced Zacharias to 40 hours of community service and 150 days of probation. Zacharias must also attend counseling, and he will only serve jail time if he violates the terms of his probation. Rabbi Stephen Balaban with Temple Shear Tikva addressed the courtroom after the hearing, saying he and his congregation want to reach out to Zacharias if he needs assistance. I, I spoke about how sorry I am and numerous other people are, including members of my congregation, for what Mr. Zacharias has done to his own life uh, and, and the suffering that I'm sure he has experienced and, and will continue to feel uh, as a result of, of some decisions that he made last year. Balaban says his congregation meets at the United Presbyterian Church, where a window was smashed the same night as the incident in Goodbody Hall. Several anti-Semitic acts of vandalism were reported that night, but prosecuting attorneys say Zacharias cannot be connected with those events. The prosecuting and defense attorneys declined to comment for this story. For WTIU News, I'm Julie Raw. PBS News Hour anchor Jim Lehrer is coming to Indiana University on April 13th to talk about the 2012 election campaign and presidential debates. During his visit, the Center on Congress and the Institute for Advanced Study plan to present Lehrer with the, with the Hamilton Public Service Fellowship. Lehrer will be the first recipient of the award, which was created in 2010 in honor of former Indiana Congressman Lee Hamilton. There will be a frost advisory in effect from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. Tuesday due to temperatures falling in the low to mid 30s for several hours early Tuesday morning. Now here's, a re here's the rest of the forecast. Tonight, partly cloudy lows in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny highs in the lower 70s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, lows in the upper 50s. Now here's a look at the five-day forecast. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid-70s and lows in the mid-40s. Thursday, mostly clear, highs in the lower 60s and lows in the mid-40s. Friday, partly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the upper 60s and lows in the lower 50s. Saturday is mostly cloudy. For WTIU, I'm London Swan.